If you're new to Typeform and don't know where to start, this video is for you. Hey, I'm Susie from Typeform, and in this demo video, I'm going to walk you through our product. I'll show you how to create your first form, where you can set up your workflows to add logic and connect with other tools, how to share your forms, and then what you can expect from the results. But first, if you're totally new to Typeform and you don't even know what the product does, we are a form builder that lets you create beautiful and effective forms. This can be anything from a lead generation form to a product recommendation quiz to a customer feedback form, basically any type of form that you want to create, Typeform's got you covered. And our features not only let you design a beautiful form, but one that can route people to different questions, send follow-up messages, and trigger actions once a form's been submitted. You can also connect with other tools and get deeper insights about your customers, employees, your users, whoever it is that's filling in your form. And of course, we also have some AI features to help with things like form creation and interpreting your results. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so after signing up and logging into Typeform, you'll be taken to your workspace. This area is where you can access all of the forms that you've created. Once you've populated your workspace, it may look something like this. But for now, we don't have any forms yet. So I will click to add a new form. And here I'll have some options on how I want to create it. So if you already have some questions written out in something like a Google Sheet, you can import them here. Or if you want some help from AI, you can choose this option to write a prompt and have the form created for you. Or if you want to do it yourself, you can start from scratch. So let's try that. You'll land here and can get right into adding your questions. And if at any time you decide that you want to go back to either of the previous options, you can navigate to them from here. Okay, so as you can see, there are a ton of different question types depending on how you want to ask. I'd recommend just going through, playing around a little bit, and trying different question types to see what they look like. But let's start with something simple, a multiple choice question. So now you can see the builder, which is where you'll create your form. To start writing my question, I'll just type it in here. And then I'll do the same for my answer options. You might see this little guy pop up at some point. This is one of our AI tools in Typeform that'll suggest questions or answers for you. On the side panel, you'll see question settings, which lets you do things like make the question required or add an other option among other settings. So keep in mind that some of these question settings will change depending on the question type. If you want to change the question type, you can do that here. You will also see a video option up above. Depending on your plan, you can record or upload videos to your questions so that you're asking on camera instead of with text. This is really great for adding personality to your brand and to help keep things a bit more personal. To add more questions, you have to click the add content button. Okay, so let's say that I've added some more questions to my form. Now I want to add a bit of design, which I can do from here. Here's where you can do things like add your logo, change the font, and tweak the colors of your form. Again, I highly recommend just playing around with the design options to make your form more fun and engaging. If you're part of a bigger team, you can also add brand kits with your brand colors, logos, and font so that everyone in your organization can use your company's branding. If you want to add an image or media to individual questions, you can do that from question settings. You can upload your own image, or you can use our gallery to find one that works. You can also add a looped video here from our Pexels video library. Then you can change the layout of the question. Just make sure that you optimize the layout for both desktop and mobile. A lot of people fill in forms on a phone, so you wanna make sure that it looks great on any device. Finally, if you want to add an ending to your form, you can do that here. Endings are a great way to thank people for filling in your form, and you can use them to do things like redirect people to your website, or you can add multiple endings and send people to different endings based on how they've answered questions in your form. So here you can add an ending or redirect to a URL. Okay, next, let's check out the workflows tab. 
Workflows let you do things like add logic and branching to your form, add calculations or URL parameters, and set up follow-up messages so that you can send them to your respondents once they've finished your form. So you can access all of that here. You can also integrate with other tools from here or through the Connect panel. So if you want to add some logic, for example, you would click Branching and start adding in some rules. I'm not gonna go through all of the details here, but we have a ton of resources on our Help Center and in our community to help you do things like set up logic, add URL parameters, or anything else that you need to help enhance your form. When you're happy with your form, you can publish it by clicking here. Once it's been published, you'll see two new tabs, Share and Results. You'll be taken to the Share tab where you'll be able to see all of the different ways that you can share your form. You'll also see this link icon so that you can access the public link to your form from anywhere in the builder. So you can simply share the link, you can embed it into an email, or you can embed it onto your website. And on the side here, you'll see some customization options depending on how you want to share your form. Then once you've actually shared your form and started getting responses, you will be able to see those in your results tab. So let's pretend like I sent out this form and I got a handful of responses. The insights tab gives you a general overview of your results, including things like the drop-off rate, which can be really helpful for seeing where your form might need some tweaking. The summary tab gives you a question by question summary and the responses tab will break it all down even further, showing you each individual response. Here you can deep dive into individual responses or filter the data in your table. And if you're on a higher tiered plan, you'll also be able to see some AI driven insights that help summarize and interpret your data. Okay, so that is a basic walkthrough of Typeform. I know that there's a lot of information there, but hopefully that helps you get up and running quickly with Typeform. There are a ton more features and functionality in the product, so I really encourage you to just get in there and play around with it and see all of the cool things you can do with Typeform. As I mentioned earlier, our Typeform Help Center is a huge resource for step-by-step -step guides on anything you need to do with Typeform, so I highly recommend checking that out. You can also check out our Typeform community for additional resources from fellow Typeform users. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos just like this. Until next time.